Gamer. What's going on, sports gamers? Mike Straw, managing editor of Sports Gamers Online here, back with another look at the Rugby 20 beta, which goes until January 3rd for those who have pre purchased Rugby 20. That launches on January 23rd. Now, if you missed our first video in the game, we took a look at a full match between the USA and New Zealand to kind of get a feel for how the game looks and plays. If you want to go back, check that out. Link will be in the description below, as well as somewhere on this video. Now, what we're going to do for this is kind of mix things up and take a look at a different mode that's available within the beta. We already know about online play and training, but now we're going to dive into the league, which is for the Nations Cup. So we're just going to start the league and take a look at what we have, and we'll go through it from there. So we're here on the team selection screen. We're going to pick our team. We're going to go with the United States here. They're not the best, obviously. They're no Wales, I mean, or even Argentina, but they're definitely no Australia, England, Scotland, Ireland, or New Zealand. They're better than Canada, at least, I guess. But, you know, they'll be respectable. We'll make them respectable on our own, right? We're going to go through this league, and we're going to try and take home the nation's trophy in this nice little short series we're doing here. So, the nation's trophy, our first matchup, we're going against Georgia. So, how it works, you see up there at the top, there's a pool of matches. We're in match one of seven. You'll play four games within your pool, and depending on how you do, you'll go to the quarterfinals, the semifinals, and possibly the finals. So, we're going to take a look at the standings and fixtures, and you'll see that we are in pool B with Uruguay, England, Georgia, and Ireland. We're probably the third best team if we're lucky, maybe fourth best from an overall standpoint. Uh, Ireland and England are dominant. Pool C has even more. Pool C is the group of death. Everyone in there is powerful. New Zealand, Australia, Wales, South Africa, Scotland. D has Samoa, Nambia, Russia, Fiji, and Canada. And then Pool A, which we skipped, Italy, Argentina, Tonga, Japan, and France. Now, we've already seen Argentina beat Japan and Tonga fall to Italy. How this will work is we'll play through our pool, we'll get to the quarterfinals. So what we need to do is we need to finish in the top two in our pool. So that means we need to finish ahead somehow of Ireland and England. It's going to be a tough task, but we're going to do it. We're going to try and get there in this little series. We're going to do a game today, show you some highlights, and see how we go. But before we get into a game, take a look at what you can do. Team management, it's very basic, very straightforward. Team management, you can look at your squad, view all your attributes and things like that. You can see, again, we're 73 overall, 31 member unit. Not the best. Um, not really anywhere near the best for anything. It's just kind of what, what, what we're stuck with. Our best player right now is 72 overall. So we have a lot of 50s and things like that. So we're, we're going to see if we can make it work. We can set our tactics for attack and defense and how we like. Uh, we can go in there. We just change it around that way. Custom, but we'll just stick with USA default for now. And our set plays. There's 21 set breakdown plays and then five scrum plays to choose from. We're going to leave this default as well. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna play the entire the entire game and we're gonna watch and see how it goes Let me know in the comment section if you'd rather just see highlights of the matches If you want me commentating over the matches for this we'll probably leave it to the game So you can kind of see again how it fully feels if you didn't see that first video and then we'll change it from there But before we get into the game, we see that Georgia is being given a 52% chance to win it's a, it's a toss-up game, so hopefully we can get going on the right foot and get a nice match to start pool play. But without any more delay, let's get into the game, and we'll see you on the next episode of the Rugby 20 Nations Trophy Series. This evening, the match everyone has been looking forward to. Welcome along to this pool round match. It's between the USA and Georgia. With me this evening, Ben Kay, who will be providing expert analysis as usual. Good evening. Yes, this is one pool match that could well be decisive. When you look at their lineups, it's obvious that the USA and Georgia are relatively equal. Absolutely. These two sides are each capable of countering the other. It's really hard to tell them apart just by looking at the statistics, but Fortunately, Nick, everything's going to be played out on the pitch this evening. The United States were involved in rugby at a very early stage. Their first official match took place in 1912. However, rugby is a minority sport in the country. 
but is starting to build a more significant competitive structure with the creation of a domestic championship, the MLR. Still a few more moments before the match begins. A strong kickoff that soars way up. That ball well taken by Nariashvili. What a turnover. And he kicks the ball clear. He caught that kick ahead well. Gets his hands free in the contact. They've managed to keep possession of the ball. First scrum of the match. So, it will be a scrum, midfield. Crouch! Fine! Set! The Georgia forward collapse under tremendous pressure from the, the USA pack, who really wanted that ball. Oh, the scrum's gone down under real pressure from the opposition. The ball is out for the scrum half. And he still manages to free up the ball despite that contact. No question about that. That's a clear foul. Yeah, that tackle's really borderline. And the referee decides it is worth a yellow. Davies with the feed for the scrum on halfway. Approach! Line! Set! See the pack here, pushing straight and pushing hard. And the ball is sent backward. Great competition for the ball by the USA. The ball is in the hands of the scrum half, Davies. This is going to be a real struggle. The attacking team keeps the ball. The ball has run out of steam here. The defence countering so well. And the attack leads to a ruck. The USA will keep the ball. They space outside for McGinty. Ruck for the USA. That's still a ball that can be used by the USA. Oh, look at that offload. The defence has done really well to hold that ball. Yep, what a move. It deserved a try, and it's got one. Fabulous. You're right. They put it all together there. A fine move that ended with a fine try. To convert the try, here's the kicker. And the kick will go straight between the posts. 7-0 for the USA. He caught that ball well, brilliantly positioned. They're joining them all, giving it that extra weight. The defence puts an end to the drive by the USA. Ball kept by the USA. Good passing. Ball. They've decided to keep the ball and they've formed them all. Oh, look at the energy, the dynamism of it all. Yeah, that's how to keep the ball alive. That's him tackled. The USA still have control of the ball. They're going to work hard for the ball. Ball still for the USA. It's kicked clear. Got underneath it. Superb. Get the back, referee boys. lets them play on with the advantage. In they go to the ruck. The USA are still in possession of the ball. The referee signals the end of the first half. And the second half of the match underway. So safe under the high ball. Ball formed by the USA. 
They've organized themselves really well, ready to stop that forward movement. The USA keep the ball. They must get the ball out to the wingers. And clearing out is needed there. They still control the ball and can go wide. There's a rock being created. They keep the ball. Well, the way the backs are lined up, they have to be trying a planned move. It's a really interesting lineup. Oh, how well did they execute that then? Oh, yes, Nick. The timing was perfect. Opportunity out wide. There's not a great deal of support there. Ball still in their possession. Davies passes to Scully. This is going to be a real struggle. Ball still in the hands of the USA. Rock. They've managed to keep possession of the ball. Excellent handling. Oh, sit down. The USA still in possession of the ball. Might be worth spreading it to the wing. Oh, look at the energy, the dynamism of it all. Ball kept by the USA. It is interesting that they're now resorting to a kicking game. They're going to work hard for the ball. Georgia will keep the ball. The ball's passed. It tries to break through. That looks like it'll be a rough. They've held on to the ball, kicked down the pitch to push the USA back. Sometimes you have to realise when the kick is the only tactical option just to relieve that pressure. But there's also the risk of a counter-attack that could rip through the defence. Absolutely. That's why the position of the kick is so important. Well, he is the king of the lineouts right now. A ruck's formed. The USA still have control of the ball. It's a ruck. Brilliant defence. Oh, wonderful offload. There's the tackle. Here's the ruck being created. Oh, that's a terribly executed pass. He slices through the defence. Georgia keep the ball. The ball's moved on. Nariashvili breaks free, takes off. The ball's being moved around. And they keep possession. Ooh, quite a risky offload in that tackle. There's big gaps on the outside. And the attack leads to a run. There are possibilities out wide. Breakthrough by Dolan. A poor pass by Scully. And it's over the final whistle, and what a win for the USA!